Histograms are used in Six Sigma to establish variability, or I call it deviation, from the center line, from the target value here. And if you've ever tried to draw one of these in Excel, you know how hard it is. You have to set up your own buckets and get Excel to count it. And you don't get all the information you need, like where the spec limits go and capability analyses and so on and so forth. And so what we want to do is take data that already exists, in this case manufacturing data. This is bursting strength of bottles. And we can select that data. We could do a control chart on it. For those of you who don't know, that's an X bar R chart, but the QI macros would initially do our control chart here. And it'll prompt us for titles. I'm just going to skip through those. The first thing you have to do in capability analysis is to make sure that your process is stable. All right, so in this case, we see all the points are in blue and everything's nice and stable. So now we can officially go do a capability analysis using the histogram. If your process is wildly out of control, capability analysis is going to be irrelevant. So here's our upper spec and our lower spec limits. So now we can choose histogram with CP and CPK, again using the same data. And I'm going to put in 346 for an upper spec and 200 for a lower spec. It'll prompt you for the number of bars, so you can adjust that if need be. And it'll draw our chart here. You can see our lower spec and our upper spec. We have some bars that are outside of the specification limit, which leads us to have a capability index that's below 1. So our data doesn't fit in here. So this would be our opportunity to start to do some root cause analysis to figure out how do we squeeze this in so that it all fits within the upper and lower spec limit. We want that CP and CPK indicator to be up around 1.33. So using the QI macros, it's very easy to first determine if your process is stable, and then use a histogram to determine if it's capable or not. And that's how you go about doing the process improvement. And you can go out to the QIMacros.com and download a free 30-day trial of the histograms using the QI macros.